Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and I've had quite a few questions come in recently as to, uh, you know, which lures would transition over easily from bass fishing to inshore fishing or inshore fishing to bass fishing. You know, if you wanted to go out for a weekend and one day you wanted to go bass fishing, the next day you wanted to uh, fish inshore, if you could only bring three lures with you, what would they be? And these would be my choices right here that I'm going to talk about. And this will definitely help you narrow it down so you're not bringing a bunch of stuff with you and also so you don't have to go out there and buy more stuff if you don't have it. Uh, you know, use what you already have because it will work very well. So this is what I have here. First off is top water. This top water lure works very well for bass and also inshore for snook, redfish, trout, and even tarpon. Tarpon will hit this as well. This is the Head End Super Spook Junior in the bone color, uh, bone silver to be exact. Uh, either that just standard bone or the one with the silver will work really well. And I will always have this in my tackle box, whether I'm bass fishing or inshore fishing. Next up is a paddle tail. You know, a three and a half or four inch paddle tail. This is our Slam Shady paddle tail. This is a three and a half inch. And this works really well, you know, for top water, you can run it on top of the surface in the grass for bass. Uh, if you're bass fishing, then you can also put it on a heavier jig head or a hook uh, to keep it down on the bottom. For inshore fishing, trout, redfish, snook, tarpon, flounder, uh, even black drum, we have a huge list of species that go after this type of lure. So definitely be in my box as well. And again, transitions over easily from freshwater to inshore. And these would be the hooks that I have or that I would have on hand. These are three aught uh, owner twist lock hooks in the 1 8 ounce size and also the 1 16 ounce size works perfectly for these three and a half to five inch baits. So I would definitely have those on hand. And if I wanted to fish a little deeper, I would have a jig head, anything from an eighth to a half ounce. So ideally I would want a few uh, eighth ounce jig heads, a few quarter ounce, and then a few half ounce to work different depths if I need to. And also the last lure would be a five inch jerk shad. This is our Alabama leprechaun jerk shad. Works really well for bass and also uh, inshore for snook, tarpon, uh, redfish, trout. All like this lure, works very well. And again, all three of these lures are very versatile for inshore and freshwater. And if I only had to take three with me, this would be it. And you really don't need much if you're going, again, if you're going on a trip, one day you want to go bass fishing, one day you want to go inshore fishing, you can narrow it down to these three lures and you'll be good to go. Now, lastly, don't get too caught up on color selection. You know, you don't need uh, 20 different colors in your tackle box. We found that these two colors are the most ideal doesn't matter if you're fish, uh, fishing freshwater or inshore, a watermelon sort of natural color uh, will work very well. And then a white, uh, which is also a very natural color, seems to do uh, the best job. Doesn't matter if it's clean water, dirty water, freshwater, inshore. These two colors right here will definitely get the job done. And same thing for top waters. You know, top waters it's really just a silhouette that the fish see above them. Uh, they can't really see the color too well. So if you go with something in that bone or white color, that's going to obviously look more natural because the bottom of any type of bait fish or really any type of animal is going to be white. So just keep that in mind. Standard white color will get the job done across the board. Now also, aside from lures and color selection, what's going to be more important for catching fish is actually knowing where to go and when. You know, certain times of the year, certain areas are going to be more productive. So you definitely want to know the trends, what's going on. And we can definitely help you out with that in our Salt Strong Insider Fishing Club. If you haven't done so already, definitely be sure to check that out where we guarantee you'll start catching more fish in less time. And also, if you need discounts on rods, reels, tackle, any of these lures, jig heads, hooks, accessories, anything like that, we do give our insider members 20% off our shop page and we do sell our Slam Shady baits, we sell our uh, Alabama Leprechaun baits and also some top waters such as the Super Spook Junior and of course the owner twist lock hooks. We do have the 1 16th ounce, also the 1 8th ounce 3 aught 
and the trout eye jig heads, which work really well for pretty much either one of these soft plastics. So be sure to check that out. And if you're not an Insider member, you can still purchase these on the shop page. However, you don't get that really good discount. So that will wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, I'd like to know your feedback. If you have a specific lure choice you like to go with when you're bass fishing or inshore fishing that easily transitions over from one to another, I definitely like to know. So drop those comments down below. Till next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.